isn't just a political campaign. This is a cultural movement to create a new American dream for the next generation. Well, 2024 Republican candidate Vivek Ramaswamy is looking to step into the spotlight even more as the primary heats up. A Washington Post columnist writes, quote, his poll numbers are still pretty low, not even 4 percent, but they are rising at a brisk clip, which is more than anyone else in the Republican presidential field except former President Donald Trump can say. Vivek Ramaswamy joins us now. He's also the co-founder of Strive Asset Management. Thank you so much for being here this morning. It's good to be on. How are you? It's great to have you, and I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Yeah. So, Vivek, why are you running for president? Uh, what are you going to do that other, other candidates won't? So I am the first millennial ever to run for U.S. president as a Republican. And I'm doing it because I think we're in the middle of a national identity crisis where my generation and people younger than me cannot even answer what it means to be an American today. I think that's a problem. I'm an America first conservative, but I think to put America first, we need to rediscover what America is. And I think I am taking the America first agenda even further than Donald Trump did, because I'm doing it based on first principles and moral authority, not just vengeance and grievance. And I think that can both go further but also unite the country. And that's why I'm in the race. Are there maybe two or three specific ways you could outline specifically how you would take that agenda even further? Sure. So let's take the border crisis, which is playing out by the day. 14,000 plus illegals crossing the southern border. I don't think a wall is sufficient. I would use our own military to secure our own border rather than use it to secure somebody else's border halfway around the world. I don't think the Department of Education, for example, can be reformed around the edges. That's a department that should never have existed in the first place. Trump put Betsy DeVos in charge of, sh of running it. I will shut it down. I'm talking about taking on issues that Trump refused to touch from affirmative action, which the president can end by executive order since it started by executive order to abandoning the climate agenda that shackles the United States economy. This is going further than Trump did. But I think that we can unite the country if we're grounded in first principles. And that's the way I'm approaching the campaign. So, Vivek, you've been a critic and wrote a book on wokeness in corporate America. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has called himself the anti-woke candidate. Uh, what does his entrance into the race mean for you? I welcome his competition in the race. I think that competition breeds strength. Governor DeSantis has taken a lot of my ideas. He read Woke Inc., and I'm grateful for his implementation of some of those ideas in the state of Florida. But I think we live in a moment where you need a visionary in the role of the president, not just somebody who's an executor. And I think part of Governor DeSantis' tenure in Florida reveals why. He was the actual governor who signed into law some of the very crony capitalist privileges that Disney enjoys that he later railed against and canceled. That's not a criticism of him personally. I just think it's a professional politician who's following instructions given by someone else, following a vision set by somebody else. I don't think that's actually what the country needs right now to lead us out of a national identity crisis. I also don't just call myself an anti-woke candidate. I'm addressing a national identity crisis. And I think a lot of Republicans, I think Governor DeSantis falls in this category. They're running from something. I'm running to something, a vision of what it actually means to be an American that dilutes the woke agenda to irrelevance. That's actually how we win, not just by being anti-woke, but be, by, by being unapologetically pro-American, pro-excellence. And that's what we stand for in this campaign. All right. So to piggyback off of those comments, just a few weeks ago, former President Trump posted on True Social. The thing I like about Vivek is that he only has good things to say about President Trump and all that the Trump administration has so successfully done. This is the reason he is doing so well. Um, is that a fair assessment? And would you be open to being on the ticket with former President Trump? I'm running for the presidency. Uh, the top job is the way we have the maximal impact, as Reagan did it in 1980. That's what I'm running to do in 2024. I'm also unafraid to draw my contrasts from President Trump. As I said, grounded in principles rather than vengeance, going further than Trump did. It is true that I agree with most of his policies. I respect the work that he did as president from 2016 to 2020. But I think if we really want to take on the administrative state, 
We're going to have to be willing to shut down agencies, to fire meaningful numbers of federal bureaucrats, to actually, on the foreign policy stage, declare independence from communist China. He spotted many of these problems, but now we need to actually deliver and solve them. I, the way I analogize it is he rolled over the log. We saw what crawled out. I'm bringing the pesticide. That's what it's going to take to actually get that job done at the next level. And look, President Trump, he did great work, but you know what? You get to be an outsider once. I'm the outsider in this race. I've got fresh legs. I'm not yet jaded, cynical, tired, and defeated. I probably would be 10 or 8 years from now. After 8 years of taking on the administrative state, you'd be tired. I'm not now, and I think that that's something that distinguishes me, not just from Trump, but from the rest of this field. All right, so the latest RCP polling average shows you at just under 3%, right behind Nikki Haley. How do you plan to break out from the pack now? So, look, I think that we're already rising at the fastest clip of anybody in this race. I started at 0.0%. We're now in actually many of the most recent polls coming out. That was dated, tied for third in many of the national polls, if not alone in third in some of the recent ones. This is just the beginning, though. The debate stage, I think, is a critical catalyst. Everything before the debate stage, history would teach us as well, is irrelevant. I think the debates that start in August, September, October, that's going to be critical for actually defining what do we stand for why do we stand for it? And who's leading the way in defining the agenda? I think we already are. That's going to be evident on the debate stage. Then I think we put up a respectable top three finish in Iowa, finish in the top two, if not win New Hampshire. That turns this race upside down. That's how we win. All right. Vivek Wamaswamy bringing his message to America here on News Nation. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.